So for the crazy, and since we are crazy, we want to make this as good as possible. Um, this all looks pretty good. If we turn the scan on and take a look at it, we can see that this gets wider. And seen from here, you can even see that the surface is at an angle. So hmm, how do we do this? Let me show you. It's actually pretty simple. Again, this is very simple to do because we built this whole thing with a modifier stack where this is all flat. Before we continue, because this now in general becomes a little bit labor intensive, why work on each side when I only need one half? Let's add a mirror modifier. It took me years to say that word correctly. Always set mirror. And we want to move this one on top. Again, so it's half a model, full model, smooth model, bent model. Okay, so let's turn all this off for a moment. And so this gets wider, which means this line is, oh, why are you higher? Is this one higher? No, it shouldn't. Hmm. Zip back to line, buddy. And also here, uh, GG. To move it to like where it should be. Um, no, because because that's an angle. Shift S cursor to select it, and then here Z Z zero and Z X zero. So along two axes, move it. Very good. So what I let's go back. What I wanted to say is all this is at one level. It's very good. Um, and now I can kind of like bend that whole surface. So all that selected, Shift S cursor to select it. That's kind of there. And if we figure out if that's going to work, then we select this whole site. Shift and Shift. There, shift click all this. Very good. And we will use the shear command again. Go to this view. Actually, no, not anymore. And an older version it did. And here with this command now, we are sliding everything, but not this point. Okay. And not this point. So again, just a little bit. And the sliding is kind of like not rotating, we're like shifting the angle. There, pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Let's see how much this one is shifted. Well, where is it? Right. There, we have it. Okay. So you see here, we, we model, I mean, fantastic transitions, super fluid uh, connections between these elements. In Fusion, this would have been a second element and we needed to cut, trim, split, and then doing these angled edges would be another rail uh, loft split, yada, yada, yada combo in here, which was click, 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 done. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. And I would say we did a pretty good job in modeling that, that thing. Yeah, and in terms of modeling, the basic stuff, we are done. Now the rest is just really playing around it with it, doing details. 
Uh, now I talked about the stuff there. We could decide, do we want this edge to be crease shift E minus one? We could remove the crease. So here, then we get the short edge there. Uh, what happens actually if we select this edge, shift E minus one? And we get that surface then. It's not too bad either. But shift E1, I will keep it creased. Very good. We could maybe select this point. What happens when we press G and X? Move it to there. So we can play with stuff a little bit. Yeah. This is actually awesome. I did a, a really nice job designing this brush. And I think we did a very good job remodeling this one with a non-traditional industrial design approach using rather a more contemporary subdivision surface sculpting uh, approach. And we also created a really nice looking new interpretation of that surface. There. Done. Don't forget, always save. Then the only thing that's left after I continued tinkering with that stuff here, which I shouldn't do, but I never can stop, is the logo and then the bristles. And then we do materials and render it. And for the rendering, we will do kind of like something like this, maybe take an actual photo of an environment, and then we render that that brush into it. Might be nice to do a compositing. Peace out.